Hey YouTube, um, <clears throat> I'm sitting here with a John Deere X350 and I couldn't get it to, it was running and then at one point yesterday it stopped going forward and backwards um, or backwards. Uh, I was pushing on the pedals, it's got the hydrostatic transmission and it just wasn't going anywhere. So just spent about an hour figuring it out um, after researching and didn't quite find um, the same answers on YouTube uh, as what was my problem uh, or was the answer to my problem so <clears throat> thought I'd share it now um, basically what happened is if you look back here I figured the um, that belt right there above the transmission was totally off and it was like back in there somewhere um, so once I got this little plate thing off here, I was able to pull the belt up and loop it around um, and then <clears throat> try to start it and it still wouldn't go forward or backwards. So um, I put it up on the lift and then came up here and realized that that belt um, was, uh, let's see if I can get it here for you. Sorry, that belt um, goes up here. You can see where I am, not there, but up there is a is where the belt connects. And that part was disconnected. It was kind of wedged in between um, these two areas, but it's up here. I don't think you can quite see it, but. So um, I tried pulling it from this end to fix it up there, but it was, too tight so what I actually did was I went back to the rear and took it off the rear and then fixed it up here in the front and then it was easier to pull it up to the rear um, back by the transmission so then I started it up and still would not move forward or backwards so finally I realized this uh, tension spring if you can see it there's a where are you uh, right there that tension spring was totally loose at least the one end um, towards the rear of the tractor was hooked on um, right here uh, that was attached but then it wasn't attached to anything in the front and so I went on Google and found a random like diagram to show me where it needed to attach and um there's if you can kind of see it there's a it's not a hole but it's like a little um i don't know uh a uh, little groove that the other end of the the tension spring fits into and again i found it easier to disconnect back here and then attach back we're in that groove up there, right up, right near those other uh, pulleys. Um, can you see it over there? And then I just used a pair of um, uh, pliers and pulled the, the spring up to here. And then uh, I started it up and it's going back and forth and running like it should. So I think what happened was I uh, hit a stick or something in the woods that probably dislodged that tension spring, which is what holds the tension on that belt. Um, and then the, subsequently the belt came off. So um, anyway, if that's, maybe that's your problem. Maybe that's an answer to your question. So just thought I'd share it here. All right, take care.